What's going on YouTube family? Today it's your girl Dominique here and I'm bringing y'all another video kind of similar to my five truths about college basketball. Y'all can click and kind of tune into that. I did that a few months ago but this video is about how to go D1, how to make a D1, how to get looked by D1, looked at by D1 schools and how kind of how my process was and I'm going to share my experience so I can help people and give advice to anybody that aspires to be D1 and play in college and honestly this can apply to any level of college basketball but I know a lot of people aspire to play D1 basketball, D1 sports so I hope y'all without further ado I hope y'all enjoy the video like comment subscribe to my other videos tune into upcoming vlogs season starting to wind down and I've started to adjust to my new school so I should have more videos coming out soon but I hope you guys enjoyed and let's get into the video so as you guys know um, I committed to UCLA coming out of high school that's the first school I went to and committed to and I just kind of want to give a little backstory of how I got there um, it came with a lot of hard work and dedication but I think there's also a lot of things that people don't know and how to kind of get there I want to start off with number one one of the most important things I've learned is that you want to play for an AU program a good high school program you want to be seen exposure is key I've seen a lot of players that haven't had exposure that were really good that I feel like could play at a power five level but because they didn't get the exposure as playing on the EY Bill circuit or Adidas circuit or Under Armour circuit you know it's harder for coaches to see you now that is not to say that that coaches can't find you and coaches can't find you if you are on a look like a, a regular AAU team but being having exposure is huge having being able to play in front of coaches and scouts is huge in high school and if you can't find a good AAU team obviously you want to have a good high school team at least a decent high school team and try to make it far it's kind of backwards now because I know back in the days I've heard stories where high school was really big and AAU was big as well, but it was kind of equal. Now it's all about AAU because high school and college season runs around the same time and they overlap each other. So college coaches can't come out to see you playing high school basketball unless it's like a big tournament. Most schools, most high schools aren't going to play in these big tournaments like um, Tournament Arizona, um, these na na national uh, tournaments towards the end of the season, and even uh, the big mecca um, and Gaucho's Gym up in New York. So a lot of high schools won't be playing in those tournaments, but that doesn't mean you still can't get exposure. I would also say to add on to that, have film, create highlight tapes, not a highlight reel, but like a highlight tape of what you do really well. I think that's huge. I know a lot of girls or a lot of guys have had to send in tape, which has helped them get recruited because they were at a place where they didn't have as much exposure which is fine i would say like show the things that you do well and don't just show don't make it like a highlight reel because coaches aren't going to want to watch or watch highlight reel if you send it to them through email or whatever so that was like the first like big advice but i want to kind of give like the little minute minute details that no one really talks about um being recruited and what's really important number two i know a lot of people say this and i know a lot of people don't believe this but your social media definitely is important now coaches are watching you on social media coaches see what you post coaches see what you like um and a lot of that can determine if a coach will recruit you or not i know people don't believe that's true but it actually is true like i've had coaches tell me that they weren't weren't looking at a player anymore they're not as interested of what something that they posted or just the kind of their lifestyle and what the, how they live um because you know a lot of coaches want good kids to come to their program they don't want co kids that are going to bring drama or anything like that so having that and having a clean social media is important obviously you want to be yourself you want to be authentic in who you are you don't want to change that because a coach might be looking at your page but also just be careful like if you're going out with friends having drinking or whatever don't be posting that on social media like you know like just be smart about it and be be aware that coaches are people are watching your page we're gonna put my hair up because it doesn't look bad but it doesn't look great so we're gonna just put you up in a little poof kapow in college some of the most important things i've seen and i've learned along the way is that you know how to you need to actually know how to play basketball to play at the division one level mid or high d1 you have to know how to play basketball and honestly that's what's going to get you on the court what i mean by how to play basketball is how to play off the ball how to play on the ball if you're a point guard obviously it's a little different but if you're like a two guard three guard how to play without the ball in your hands like how do you make an impact um a lot of kids coming to high school such as myself i was highly recruited 
high school athlete and so i came in recruited had all i had athleticism had all these things but at the high at the next level everybody's athletic not everybody but most of the people are athletic if you're going to a power five school most people are athletic they can play really good defense so what do you do that's going to get you on the floor and might, might get you a few minutes with a senior or a junior and a lot of coaches are looking for that you know obviously coaches will recruit you for your scoring ability or for your passing ability or whatever but something that you want to think about when you're playing is can you make your teammates better and coaches love that coaches love winning players you know you might not be as talented as another player but because you can you know how to win and you know how to impact the game without scoring without having the ball in your hands coaches love that and it's not talked about enough but that's something that any athlete if you are a 30 point score or not anybody can add that to your game Learn learning how to win possessions, learning how to win. And I think the best advice I've gotten is to watch film, watch high level games, final four games, championship games, um, tournament games, just watch basketball and really like see the play calls that are at the end of the game or what hurts a team and why they lose a game and kind of take that into consideration and kind of apply it to your high school games, your AAU games. I think that'd be huge because you know, not, not a lot of coaches are, or not a lot of high school athletes are really thinking that they're just thinking I'm going to come to college and score 30, which majority of y'all are not, to be honest, that's just the, the truth of basketball. There's going to be one or two people that have the go that green light. And so as you understand that, it's like, okay, so what can I do to impact the game? I think this is the last tip uh, I'm going to give. If you're getting recruited and you want to go D1, make sure it's a level that you feel like you could thrive at. Now, I'm not saying well, female athletes um, want to go D1. I think that's just like well-known and like kind of like obvious. But I think sometimes um, not to get too caught up in D1 um, because there are other D2 opportunities. And obviously, I'm not a... I don't play D2 or D3, I play D1, so I can't really speak on that. But from like experience, and I've talked to my old AAU coaches, old co coaches or whatever, and D1 is great. There are a lot of great things about it. Obviously scholarships and just like you get to go to a bigger school. But I obviously say go where you want to go and go where you are going to play. And I said that in my like um, NCAA Truths video what's the truth about NCAA that no one knows or college basketball and I, th I I still stand by it even though I haven't been through it I know what D1 basketball is like I know what D1 college is like whatever you want to call it and you just want to go somewhere where you're going to be appreciated where you're going to be happy and where you're going to play and where you're going to be able to maximize your opportunity hope I was able to give you guys some insight and just some more tips if you guys want any more videos like this I'm definitely going to be doing more videos like this even though they might not get a lot of views and they're not popular I'm still going to do them because I feel like there are a certain group of people and that need to hear this and that are hearing it even if i might be five people that's all i don't really care about the views so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i really hope you guys tuned in and heard what i said and just apply it and have fun enjoy basketball enjoy whatever sports you're playing because you love it and yeah god is great jesus loves you jesus is the one and only way to heaven he could save you and he loves you though he loves you where you're at he'll meet you where you're at and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe on the edit video. You know what I'm saying? And I'm signing out.